Hello, I'm going to do the Cancer Weekly Tarot for the for July 5th to the 10th. And this may or may not be a message for you. This may be something that's just starting or that your message for you right now or in the future. Or it may not be your time for a reading. All right. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. The Empress. Knight of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Hierophant. And the Eight of Swords. My first thought is that, you know, everything's really positive. Um, there's a lot of growth. You're not blocking energy. Um, there is an offer that's coming on. There's somebody that asks you out. Maybe you're worried about um, someone asking you out or somebody contacting you, um, somebody reaching out to you. Um, maybe that's been on your mind and you're wondering why that hasn't happened. Um, Three of Swords reversed represents letting go of the past, healing your mind to hang in there. Um, I feel, you know, this reversed, this way is you're blocking energy and you're not letting it in, but it's coming up reversed. So I feel like, I feel like you're really in a good place, but I still feel like there's a little bit of something, because you even got the Eight of Swords, which is the f um, fear of moving forward, but you, didn't, you don't even have that. Um, but I feel like since the Nine of Swords came up this way that you're still staying up at night and you're still thinking about some things. But I feel like for the most part, you've really moved forward. I feel like you've really made a lot of progress. I feel, I kind of feel like since this card, the Nine of Swords is above the Knight of Cups, I feel like you're waiting for someone to make an offer to you. Maybe you got in a fight with your partner. Um, Maybe the two of you had a disagreement and you're waiting for them to reach out to you. Maybe there's somebody that you've liked for a while or you've been thinking about or you've been um, maybe contacting um, online on a dating site or something. They're sort of waiting for that person to ask you out or to reach out to you and they haven't done it yet and that's sort of... Um, kept you up at night but I, I feel like that's definitely coming I feel like you have nothing to worry about because you have so many positive you know, cards here and the ones that would be negative are turned upside down so I feel like that's not happening I feel like there's a lot of growth for you that there's a lot of um, that this is a, a big thing for you um, with the Hierophant um, this could be a Taurus that you're waiting for um, to reach out to you if it's your partner or um, somebody that you like. Um, I feel like, you know, this also could be reaching out to friends. Maybe you need, maybe you just need to hang out with your friends and not focus on this person, you know, so much. Maybe you shouldn't put so much effort into it and, you know, be sitting waiting by the phone for this person or the, the you know, the computer or whatever, waiting for this person to reach out to you, that maybe you should just go out with your friends and have a good time and have some fun and, and do what you, you know, enjoy doing um, or just not focusing on this because I do feel like this offer is going to be coming in, this communication is going to be happening, but you know how they say a, a watched pot never boils, so staring at the pot waiting for the water to boil isn't going to make it boil any faster, it's going to boil when it's ready to boil and when this person is ready to reach out, they will reach out. Um, so I feel like that's what this is saying is, you know, you don't need to worry about it. It's, it's all going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Um, when the time is right, things will happen. Rest. Taking a rest, I feel like you've had a lot of growth where you're, you know, you're not afraid to move forward, you're not blocking energy, and maybe you're tired from that. Maybe it's been a process that you've gone through a lot of things, and so you're, you're tired from that. And so, like I said, take a break from that. Stop thinking about it. Um, hang out with your friends. Um, get back to old things that you, you used to do, like maybe you used to do puzzles, okay? I Actually, today I was just looking and I found a box and I have that coloring book with the pencils and I remember I used to do that and I remember I used to like doing that 
and I just found it today and so maybe that's for you is get back to something you know that you like to do and that way you're doing something that you like you're not focusing on this and this will feel like it's happening quicker because you're not like I said staring at the pot of water waiting for it to boil all right it could be a king of cups because when it said nine of cups for some reason I was thinking it might be a water sign that you're um, waiting for it could be um, this king of cups is who you're waiting for so it could be a water sign a cancer Scorpio or Pisces or this could represent you as in a water sign um, that this is you you know waiting for this person to come in um, or it could just be you know saying you know have patience like you know good things come to those those who wait and you're moving forward okay you are going to be moving forward just don't focus on it so much you know just like step back and you know that's this is coming your way you've done a lot of work with yourself and when the time is right this will happen okay um, maybe if it is someone that you're already seeing maybe they need some time alone to process things and think about things before they reach out to you and say let's talk about things you know but whoever this is they need a little more time it, it could be this week it could be soon um, let's see let's do let's do let's do an angel answers I have all my cards lined out there and for me I kind of go with the reading and then I have all I have a bunch of decks slide lined up and then I sort of feel where the reading is going and then I decide you know what I what other cards I want to use if any and so that's why not all of my readings even though I did you know one for each sign for this week I don't always use the same cards because um, sometimes I feel like d different readings need different cards. Oh, that's okay. So as far as this person reaching out, it says within the next few weeks, because that's what I was wondering as I was looking at the cards. I was like, well, maybe it'll give us a time span. So within the next few weeks. Now, I personally don't like putting a time stamp on anything because I feel like when I've listened to readings and they said well this is going to happen by then and it doesn't happen that really lets me down um, and that um, you know I don't want to do that to other people um, it could happen for some of you within the next few weeks it could be that this person reaches out to you in the next few weeks it could be like if it's your current partner like within the next few weeks obviously you know they're gonna reach out to you to try and resolve this problem because you are connected but it could be within the next few few weeks that this person if you haven't met them that they really start to connect with you and then they start moving towards the idea of reaching out to you um, so um, I don't feel like you know if it doesn't happen within the next few weeks that doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen you know maybe that wasn't you know particularly you know maybe for some people this does happen within the next few weeks maybe it's longer than that but it doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen for you I hope I explain that but I just I don't like putting specific time stamps on it because I'm the type of person if you tell me it's gonna happen within the next few weeks then my time clock you know I've, I've flipped the 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 you know the sand over in the in the glass timer and it's you know you have two weeks for this to happen and I don't want you to feel that way you know if it doesn't happen within the next few weeks it could be something that's sparking that's developing um, that could be happening so um, let's see if there's anything else I feel like I feel like that's where we're gonna end it I feel like that's where I want to end it I feel like that's a good message so just hang in there you know if if you're waiting to hear from somebody and you're connecting with somebody or you know you're trying to work it out with your partner just hang in there it's it's going to happen you know 
it's going to fall into place. You've done so much good work and don't go backwards, you know, just keep moving forward. Keep thinking positive. Focus on things that you like to do. Focus on hanging out with people or friends that you like to do so that way the time goes by and you know, you, you don't even know it. And before you know it, you get the message from that, from that person um, that makes you happy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.